Hey everybody, I'm Adrian Bustamante. I'm BC Hoffman. And you're watching Recipe Wars. Today we're doing what was rated number five by CNN for the most delicious world food, Pod Thai, on this Recipe War fight. Before we get this head-to-head -head fight started, let's watch these videos. Okay, well, the noodle that I'm talking about is called Pad Thai noodle. You, uh, you probably have Pad Thai noodle before in the restaurant, right? And you love it so much, you wonder how you're gonna make Pad Thai noodle? Here it is, you come to the right place. I'm gonna show you how to make Pad Thai noodle. Now I am doing Tommy Tang's recipe, and Tommy Tang's video is to me hilarious as much as it is insightful. He makes some great food that's very traditional, and that's what I love about it. I, I will say I am kind of envious that you have fresh shrimp and chicken in yours versus mine. We're doing uh, Alton Brown. Yeah, let's take a look at Alton Brown's recipe. Eat. Okay, so it's not exactly travel. But you know, a meal can uh, provide quite an interesting view into a foreign culture, especially if that culture is Thai, and the meal is Pad Thai, a, a noodle dish which really became popular during World War II when it was promoted by the prime minister of that country as a way to help uh, his people consume less rice during times of shortage. Alton Brown is kind of like the uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, slash Mr. Wizard when it comes to in the yeah. kitchen. Um, and I kind of love that about him. At the same time, when it comes to doing a traditional dish, she kind of does a variation, and uh, it's good, but it's 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 not Tommy Tang traditional. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I think, in worst case scenario, you do get a lot of really good information from Brown. He makes he makes, does make a lot of good recipes as well. Now, pad thai is typically a rice noodle, and we actually have our rice noodles already prepped. Dun dun dun! Boom, boom. boom! Head to head. Now, there's two different ways you can actually prep your rice noodles in advance. One is to actually get them and just pour hot water on them for about 10 to 15 minutes um, and let them soak in that. And the other way, and what I like to do traditionally, is to basically just soak them in cold water overnight. About, I'd say realistically, eight to 12 hours. Tommy Tang yeah. does that. Tommy Tang also says that do it a minimum of three hours, but you really want to do it as much like overnight if you can. Like six to eight hours is probably a good amount, just making sure that when you do pull it out of the water, you dry it off completely, because if you throw it in there when it still has Water log, you can get soggy noodles. Yeah. So. Now the key when making this dish, and this is something we do on Recipe Wars on a regular, is having mise en place. What's mise en place, you ask? Mise en place is everything in its place, meaning you have everything prepped and ready to go, so that way when you're actually cooking your items, boom, all you have to do is throw them in the pan, throw them in the pot, and you're ready to go. So what we have here for the pod thai, the typical items that you're gonna use, you're gonna have your bean sprouts. In my case, I have mung sprouts, which are basically the same thing, but they have a thicker, um, a thicker sprout end. Uh, limes, and that's just gonna be as a garnish later that you can squeeze on top of your pad thai. Your tofu. In this case, and for both recipes, you actually wanna use a nice, extra firm yeah. tofu. And the reason for that is, one, it actually is just a nice consistency, and two, it doesn't fall apart when you actually put it in your pan. Yeah. Softer tofu is really great if you want a creamier dish of some sort, because it's not gonna, it's gonna break up easier. And the one thing I do love about tofu, and I like it in a lot of my dishes, just to substitute for a different type of protein, is just it absorbs whatever you soak it in totally. so well. So like, I, even if it's not for this dish, a great thing you can do it is marinate it in whatever dressing you like, put it on a salad. I like to marinate mine in like teriyaki sauce. Yeah. Things like that are really quick and easy things that you can add to a salad at home or another dish. You're gonna use the tofu, and we actually use um, an, a marinated aged tofu. So the five spice consists of star anise, cloves, uh, Chinese peppercorns, Chinese cinnamon, and fennel. You're gonna let that literally soak for about 30 minutes. You can even do more if you want, just to give it that extra flavor. And the key when you're using tofu for any dish, especially if you want it to be a firm tofu, is to drain it. Now my tofu is actually marinated just like BC's here. In Tommy Tang's recipe, he just used regular old tofu, but I thought using some marinated would add a little bit of flavor to it on top of you know all the other flavors that I have sitting here as well. We also have in this wonderful dish, fish sauce. 
<laughs> Thankfully. So if you didn't have the dried shrimp to get the flavor, you got the fish sauce. Now if you're at home though and you want a vegetarian pad thai, and you're thinking, well, I can't use fish sauce, a good substitute is soy sauce just to kind of keep that saltiness to it. And then we also have palm sugar. I believe you're using I'm honey. I'm using honey, yeah. yeah. And then I have salted cabbage. Both of us use tamarind. All you're gonna do is basically pour three quarter cups of hot water on top, and then you're gonna strain it in a fine mesh, and you'll get tamarind paste out of that. And I'm just using old tamarind juice. Yep. I'm also using paprika in my dish. And then also we're gonna go with peanut oil. We both use uh, rice wine vinegar mm -hmm. and, and uh, garlic. And in my dish, I use scallions. You don't. I do not, no. And uh, peanuts. Peanuts, yes. And lastly, we're gonna be going for uh, eggs. Yep. Boom. Um, traditionally, you're gonna be using a wok, but not everyone at home has a wok. So we wanted to basically simulate what you'll be doing at home if you don't have a wok. Uh, and we're gonna be using our regular pan. And you don't necessarily wanna go with a nonstick pan because what's gonna happen is if you use a nonstick pan, that coating is gonna get on there and you don't wanna go with that because you aren't gonna get that browning that you would get if you use a pan that doesn't have that stick effect. So, the pad thai is gonna be started in the pan. I'm getting my pan hot. While that pan is getting hot, I'm gonna basically make my sauce for the pad thai. It consists of just a quick jump. We're gonna take our fish oil. Right there, about two tablespoons. We're gonna take our rice wine vinegar. <laughs> I, love, I love the side of the sound effect. <laughs> two tablespoons with the sound effect. The tamarind. And you're gonna wanna scoop this out. About two tablespoons worth. And lastly, your sugar. Give that a quick whisk. And there you have your sauce. Very simple and easy for your pad thai. As far as our peppers go, I'm gonna cut these up real quick. Before I do that, I'm gonna take my peanut oil and just coat the pan so I get that oil nice and hot as well. I'm gonna cut up my peppers. Now, the peppers we're using are a dry red chili. The smaller they are traditionally, the spicier they are. Mm -hmm. I'm using chili our bowl, so it's got a little heat, but not too much. We're just gonna do a quick chop. I've got my chicken, I've got my shrimp, and I've got my egg. Now, Tommy Tang kind of makes a good point that when you throw your egg in the pan, kind of just break up the yolk a little bit, but don't stir it around a whole lot. You don't want scrambled egg. You kind of want larger chunks of egg throughout your dish. So I did just that. We're gonna cook these shrimp until they start to get nice and pink. And then I'm gonna start adding in all the pieces to my sauce. So the first thing I'm putting in my pan is I'm putting in my tofu. And we're literally gonna cook this, I'd say about three minutes till it's nice and golden brown. Then we're gonna pull it out and we're actually gonna put it right back in our bowl that we pulled it from in the first place. I've got this tofu right here. It's getting nice and brown. Now typically, if you are gonna do this at home and you wanna do a quick flip with your pan, you're gonna basically just hold the handle closer to the edge of the pan right there. You don't wanna hold it all the way in the back. And you're gonna just basically pull it all the way to the front. Feel and then flip. that way, Feel oh. flip. So right now in my pan, I've added my tamarind juice, my paprika, my honey, my vinegar, and as well as my fish sauce. So it's all coming together now. Hopefully the heat's gonna get a little higher. Just me. So my tofu is good to go. I'm just gonna throw that into my bowl. So the oil's already hot, so now I'm ready to go with everything else. So I'm literally gonna take my eggs, throw those bad boys in, but first, the garlic. Again, in a wok, this is gonna be so much quicker. Start adding in my noodles now, faster than your normal noodle. So I'm literally throwing everything in. So I've got my peanuts, my salted cabbage, my bean sprouts. Now I'm only putting in half of my bean sprouts, half of my scallions. Yeah, if you start seeing your noodles at home that they start getting a little dry, don't be afraid to throw just a little bit of water over the top of it to kind of just add a little moisture. And if you feel like, like my sauce is a little thick, I think it could use a little bit more. So if you need to, you got a little excess water that came out of the noodles, that's fine because I want to get that sauce a little bit more liquid to it. So I'm going to use that water in the bottom of my bowl. So my pad thai is done. I uh, don't want my noodles to soften up anymore. Yours looks to be almost done as well. Mine's done too. I say we get these bad boys plated. Let's do it. And do this taste test. So we've just plated up our pad thai, and now it is time to see who is the winner in this head-to-head -head recipe war. Let's do it. Uh, start with yours or mine? Let's start with yours this time. Tommy, Tommy Tang. Oh, Tommy Tang. Try it with the, with the, the lime. The lime really brings out that fish sauce, the saltiness. You get a little bit of the sweetness, and the sour gets kicked up a notch yeah. because of that lime. The sour does go up a little bit too. That is a traditional pad thai. I mean, really that's is. Tommy Tang right there let's for try, you. Let's try the Alton Brown. The Alton Brown. <laughs> oh 
Obviously the noodles kick in. There's a lot of different flavors, but I'm not, I'm getting a lot more spice out of it than uh, <coughs> I normally got out of this one. Uh, and I'm not getting as much of uh, the flavor. See, this is a tough one, because I was totally rooting for yours before we actually went head to head totally. And I like the pungency because you really do get a hit from the fish sauce, but it's not super strong. And I really do like, I, I like the way that yours had the honey coating, mm -hmm. and you can actually taste it. But I do like, this one has the texture, and I almost feel like the texture came out with the granulation from the palm sugar that you were using. But this is, it was a really good dish. It's so definitely on the spicier side, but I'm gonna have to go with Tommy's recipe. But. So that being said, how do we gauge who the winner of this one is? We needed someone to break this tie, so we decided to bring in one of our favorite cameramen. Hey, David! David Rivera. How are you doing, Adrian? David's a huge Pad Thai fan, so this works out perfectly for everyone. Forked for you, sir. Thank you. So we made both the same dish, Pad Thai, but completely different recipes, and the flavors came out completely different. Okay. So we totally need you, the fan of Pad Thai, yeah. to uh, break the tie. Figure out who's the winner. Out. I love it so far, like when I bet into this, it's very, it's very like traditional tasting. Okay. That's all, I love the crunch of the peppers. It's not um, as spicy as I would like it. I wish it was a little spicier, but it, it definitely tastes great. Nice and sweet. Not um, not overpowering with the flavors. Okay. Everything seems pretty balanced, so. Good, I'm good. Try uh, this, try this way, I think. Drum roll. Mmm. You heard that, doesn't? Mm. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Cold. But wait, what's this? What, what happened? <laughs> what? what is this? It was good. Okay. And then it became kind of pungent. Okay. Mm. I, like, I like the spiciness for sure. Yeah. And the crunch from the sprouts. But halfway through eating it, I got like a kick of like, I don't know if it was a tamarind or the fish sauce. But no, this is tough. I, <laughs> this is tough because they're both really good. You That's have to make a decision. I would love to just <laughs> combine them both and just. Can't happen. Yeah. <laughs> both but, if I had to choose one, uh, I would probably go with Adrian's because of the red peppers. Nice. It's, they bring like this really like this nice crunch okay. as well as a nice like unexpected flavor because I never had pad thai that had these peppers before. Yeah. I mean, I always have the peanuts and the uh, shrimp and the chicken, but the red peppers bring a, a, like a nice like uh, spice to it. I guess something new. Yeah. This is good too for sure. But it just wasn't there, I guess, because it's missing like a big old shrimp in there. I mean, you can't really go wrong with. That's fresh my thing. I wish I had shrimp. the fresh shrimp. It's almost shrimp. like you can't go wrong no. with uh, throwing some shrimp in there. But. Well, yeah, good. So. Thank you for being. Thank you, David. Our taste uh, yeah, thank you guys. Oh, so much. All, right. All right. That being said, my name is BC Hoffman. I'm Adrian Bustamante. It appears that uh, Tommy oh. Tang was the first place winner, and second to that, Elton Brown. <laughs> Again, this has been Recipe Wars. Please subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and catch us next time when we fight on.